Soul Souls, hello and welcome back to Subconscious Food. Today we are talking about a very special technique, calling cut on your reality. It is one that I have only just discovered, but quickly realizing how powerful it is in being able to create clarity in each moment that you're in, which ultimately helps you to slip back into your role as co-creator of your reality. Go ahead, click the subscribe button to support me in helping more and more people live happy and fulfilled lives. So when you're exploring this technique, you can be quite creative with it. You can decide on the scenery and the environment that you want to utilize it in. You can decide whether you want to use it in the moment or maybe you want to use it as if you were acting as if. You can be creative with your script and what you command, keyword there, command, to be true, aka your reality. So how does it work? Basically, the technique involves you shouting, cut, as if you were the director of your own movie. Except you are the director of your own movie and by, cut, and by shouting, cut, you pause. Everything pauses in that moment. And then you give yourself the opportunity to rewrite the circumstances that you were currently in. So, for example, let's say, let's start with your thoughts. Let's say you are having a long inner dialogue with yourself. All sorts of thoughts are shooting up way from the side, from up here, down below, all kinds of thoughts. Maybe someone ticked you off. Maybe, um, you're having a conversation with someone and you don't necessarily agree with it. Maybe something upset you. Possibilities are endless. When you shout, cut, you let yourself know and you let the situation and the consciousness of the situation know that actually you want to stop and you want to pause and you want to rethink that scene or you want to rethink that scene and you want to make it exactly the scene and the scenery that you wish to experience now. So the way that you change it is you just change the script. So let's say you're in a dialogue was, oh, why did they do that? That's so annoying. I can't believe they did that. Oh, do they not care about me? Why do I always have to put up? Why do I always have to take the high road? Cut! So now you have the opportunity to change your script. Instead of looking at that person, you can choose to look with them through the eyes of compassion. So you can be very empathetic, you can put yourself in their shoes, you can feel those emotions that they were feeling and you can feel the compassion running through you, feel the empathetic resonance flow through you as you change and you now grow to understand the situation from another perspective. So in this scene, you actually grow. It's a process of you growing and understanding different perspectives. It's a process of you evolving. And actually your emotions that you had before and those thought forms no longer there anymore because you've seen it from a different perspective. You've seen it from a different angle. Another example of using this technique is if you are at work and you know you're quite highly stressed you've got lots of tasks to do you've got lots of deadlines that you need to complete things by and you haven't necessarily got members of your team that are very proactive so you might need some help with something and maybe it's not appropriate to scream out cut in the middle of the boardroom or the meeting room or at your desk. However, you can still do this in your head. So you may need to align your belief systems with knowing that this technique works and it will work for you. 
And once you've done that, you can shout out, cut, in your head, change the scene, change the scenery, change the environment, change the consciousness of the room. <laughs> Hi, Maze. <laughs> change it so that it works for you. You are the co-creator of your reality. You can command at any given moment the reality that you wish to experience. Of course, not every single thing that you ever manifest will come into fruition at this given moment. And probably that's a very good thing because that means that when you have thoughts that are not for your highest good and your greatest joy, they don't come into fruition for you. So very blessed that we are in that current state. But the purer our thoughts and our hearts and our minds get, the easier this is all going to become and the easier we're going to live the life that we always wished we would. Guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video. Go ahead, hit that like button if this video has been of any value to you. Don't forget to share it with your loved ones. You never know who may need it the most now. Until next time, namaste. Bye.